When capturing people in landscapes, the idea is to focus on the person, but also have the background behind them in focus. So the idea is to try and get everything from the foreground to the background in focus. And it's very similar to setting up a standard landscape, but you would probably want to use the flash in order to eliminate any kind of shadows from your subject's face and to kind of bring them out a little bit more in the picture. So what you can do is turn your mode dial to SCN. SCN stands for scene and we have a landscape scene. If you just use your dial in the back to turn and try and find the landscape scene, there it is. And with the landscape scene, what happens is everything is automated and the camera tries to get everything in focus. As you can see, the focusing square in the center is now gone, but if I have somebody in the foreground, I should be able to focus on them. The ISO is set to automatic, and my white balance is also set to automatic. Since we're outdoors, the white balance is okay, because auto white balance is really best for outdoor pictures, but it is still best to actually set it to daylight. The ISO will be automatically set once I press my shutter release halfway. My flash right now is turned off by default, but I can choose to turn it on. All you need to do is press the flash button right here, the right navigation button, and you can scroll over to flash on. Press set. The reason why you don't want to choose auto flash is because again, we're outdoors and the camera is going to assume that there's enough light so it'll choose not to use the flash. This is why we want to force the camera to use the flash by turning it on. Now basically all you do is just go ahead and press the shutter button halfway, wait for the camera to try and find a focus. The camera may or may not find a focus. You may have to release and try again until you are able to find a focus on the person. Now because there's no focusing square in the center, I'm not really sure where the camera is going to focus. So I don't like this mode. The other way you can do it, and the way I would recommend to do it, is very, very simple. Turn your mode dial. Don't use the scene mode, but use the aperture value. The aperture value mode will allow you to set an aperture, which will allow the camera to try and get everything in focus. So again, just as before, make sure your flash is turned on. Make sure your white balance is set to daylight. So I'll just press my shortcut button. In the Getting Started Guide, I set up my shortcut button to access my white balance. And I just use the dial here to move the white balance option until I get to either cloudy or daylight in this case, and then hit set. Now I'm forcing my flash. My white balance is set. My ISO is currently set to 80, and this is great because we really should have enough light in this picture. So I don't need any higher than 80 and 80 will give me the best color possible with the least amount of grain. Down here, you'll notice that my f-stop, my aperture setting, is currently 3.5, which is not good. This is not going to get me a very large depth of field, and not everything will be in focus. So I'll just use the dial to move this over to 8. Now I'm on f8, and outdoors in the daylight, this should really be just fine should have absolutely no problem with this, and I can just go ahead and take my picture. Now, the flash, depending on how close I am to my subject, may be a little bit too strong. If I am closer than, let's say, five feet from the subject, then I should probably try and reduce the power of the flash so as to not completely overexpose the subject. So, what to do, you just press the function button right here in the center to access the function menu and then go down to the flash exposure compensation and just use your dial to move that little green dash into the minus area. You may want to choose minus one and see if that works out for you. If it's still too bright, you can go down to minus two and that should certainly not be too bright. This is good for pictures where the subject is, I would say probably a foot away from the camera. So try minus one maybe minus two-thirds, and press set to OK. Now we can go ahead and take our picture, just as we would any other picture, 
focus on your target. Again, with people, I like to put the focusing square on their eyes or somewhere on their face. Press the shutter button halfway. And once that focusing square turns green, I heard a double beep come from the camera, so I know everything is in focus. I can then recompose the image. I don't want my subject to be in the center because I also want to see the background. So I'm going to move my subject over to the side a little bit and tilt them down so their eyes are at about two thirds. And then go ahead and press the button the rest of the way to take the picture. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.